in today's right lovely episode of the Great War of the Western Front, things get moist, preventing us from attacking. Then we decide to make it more moist with the blood of our enemies. High explosive solves many things. Then they start getting a bit antsy and stabbing us in the back again. As you can see, they get really angry and actually go on the offensive. Blowing up my own men into several pieces in the forest and getting gunned down in mass infantry bayonet charges. Isn't that right, lovely? It's been a long time coming. Stay tuned to see what happens. You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Time to let go murder some French and British people again. How wonderful is that? Quick recap, we have shoved our way into enemy territory. Crossing through Belgium, we are now assaulting Calais and Dunkirk. We've got a mission for... Or do we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Dunkirk. There we go. We've got a mission for that. That'll give us some good stuff. We're going to take Calais at the same time. Eeps will be then cut off from supply and broken down. Then, at the same time, I am pushing towards Paris. I want the capital. We're doing it with this set of troops right here. That's going to be right lovely. The enemy are yet to attack, probably because I've not put the pressure off, to be completely honest. I'm still waiting. And I've got some incredibly thin defensive lines everywhere. It's a little bit scary, not going to lie. Most of them are ones, some twos, and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning I've got more troops to attack, but if they come at me, I might be in trouble. Got a new weapon, smoke rounds. I need to start using that. But what I am going to do is use it in combination with the elite troops, such as the raiders. That's going to be interesting. I do want to get them in. Have to use the smoke, because if you use the normal suppression, then they can't lob their grenades, even though they're running around on the open field. So that is the current plan. Then I think I'm going to go to the sniper and anti-tank training. That'll be lovely. And then we're going to gas people out. That's going to be also right lovely. So last episode we attacked Dunkirk. It's now time to attack Calais again. Let's get in there. Got some more troops in there, but they're not quite ready yet. But we're going to go and... Oh, I can't attack. <gasps> no! Oh, that's because of the bloody weather. Oh, god damn it. Calais has been saved this turn. That's not very nice. Probably because it's September. There's a few others down here, which isn't very good. Well, yeah, I suppose it's out of the way, so it doesn't matter. But we're going to go then and march towards Paris by going through whatever that place is called. Excellent. We've already had a battle here, so I don't need to redo the trenches, which is lovely. Everybody's now in position. Lots of balloons, ammo dumps, four light artilleries, eight light, uh, heavy artilleries. Currently using only the elite troops. They are the best. And I'm going to be setting my assault from X into A. I've chose this region because this line is further back. Meaning when they try and take it back, they're probably going to cross around here. And I should be able to shoot them. That's the theory anyway, and we should be able to blow up many things that are in there. They're heavily condensed in this area, which isn't very nice, but I can blow them up. I have very nice range from the observation balloons. And we're going to move our way over. I didn't go this way because if I was to come at this, they've got all this as well, which is going to be a nightmare to suppress and such. So I thought I'd better go for A first, because there's just a bit more of a gap there, so it should be easier. First things first, blow up that balloon. Artillery's now firing, we're going to blow up a bit of them as well. That is going to be right lovely. French and British forces in here, they have some elite French also. 
Now they are now going to go for a probing attack as usual. They're on there. We've got machine guns and people in the trenches. This now looks quite vulnerable. What I need to do is get these troops moving forward ASAP. Getting our chaps into position. Machine guns doing a lovely job as well as the riflemen finishing them off as well. Excellent job, lads. Their artillery is over there. I can see it for a change. So let's try and see if we can get a bomber in. I'm going to send one in first because I don't know if they've got planes. We'll soon find out. Because they usually counter it with fighter supremacy missions. Our troops are now on the way. We're going to get these wriggling forward also. Excellent, excellent. We need to start bombarding some of this. Artillery is going to come down and blow up a lot of these troops. They're not going to be too happy about it. Soften them up for when our troops get down there. That's a lovely plan of action. They're slowly making their way. They're being a bit clumsy about it, but they're going, they're going. All well and good. The artillery is going to stop soon. I do have good coverage with the suppression, which I'm going to need now. Suppression is going to come in. There we go. Now they can't shoot me. Troops are coming in. We've got more troops behind them. They're just lagging behind a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. Then I'm going to try and take out my machine guns. Oh, sugar lumps. Get in the trench. Get in the trench. Get in the trench. Get in the trench. Go, 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 go. Before the suppression ends. Otherwise, you're all kind of done for. Quick, suppress that again. Nice, we are in. They're going to have a hard time. They're trying to blow up my artillery from down there now. Bomber is doing a bit of a job. We'll send another one in. They claim they don't have any planes, which is lovely. No sugar lumps. We're going to lose troops this way. Get them in there. I better suppress that lot. What I can do is set more artillery down. Here we go. Big guns are going to come down. Excellent, excellent. They're not going to like that. That should clear it. They're probably going to send troops over. But what I can do, as soon as these are finished, start sending the troops over the top. Hopefully they don't get too blown to pieces. Better send in some more troops to fill their gaps in their positions. They've only got a few troops left. They're not going to be too happy about it. Better watch for them coming this way. Need to get them in there, these troops in here as quickly as possible. We're now fighting for the domination of said trench. We've got a few spares at the back. We've actually conquered a lot of this region. They're sending in reinforcements now, so I need to get my troops forward as quickly as possible. Get these troops down there. They're probably going to be a bit of a nuisance. I will attempt to stop that from happening. Bomber's still doing its thing. Send another one in, get rid of their artillery capability. Some of these are a bit knackered. I better swap them out with some fresh troops. Otherwise, we're going to be in a pickle real soon because they're going to be coming. Send these other spare troops into that trench. Hopefully, their artillery won't try and murder us. And I've got a spare troop now here as well, which I can shove into this trench. We've got plenty of troops floating around. Here we go, they're coming in. I'm going to have to try and blow some of these up. We do have men in the trenches ready to go. Make it quite horrible for them. Many of them are coming. Better start hammering some of these. Hopefully, it will slow them down a bit. Because they're going to make it rather difficult. Need to put the troop, which is the strongest, on the firing line got a spare troop here oh they're going in there nice okay we're all good so far we're all good they're not having a good day of it getting blown to pieces as we speak which is perfect bomber has nearly eliminated all the enemy artillery now let's get one more in that's not going to be doing them many favors but they're still going to be hurting me which isn't very nice artillery is coming back online when it does i can actually see what's going on Get a recon plane up there and see about pushing up this way. I can get a few more troops in. I think pushing forward up here is going to be the next call. Get rid of these which are knackered. Switch all of these out with good, fresh, strong troops. 
And we should be then. Right, lovely. To murder the enemy. How lovely is that? Excellent. Switch some of these out. You go up there. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. They might think, oh, why are you doing that? Well, it's just a, a little bit safer. I'm going to keep them in there. A bit of a backstop down here. Now I can bring in six more troops. I'm going to bring them in down here. It's all going to be safe because their artillery is pretty much done. There you go. That's one entire battery gone. Let's try and blow up some more of these. I forgot to have a look what the recon plane said. I need to get that guy in there before... Oh, he's coming, he's coming. But we're pretty much ready to strike again. Here he comes, here he comes. That's the bomber, but the recon plane is somewhere. Yeah, look, they've got a few troops down there. And they've still got another heavy artillery there. I can clear this easily. Everything's in play. Artillery is coming. All that's going to get eliminated. These troops are running across. And we're going to flood this entire area with troops. Their artillery is still around. That is a bit of a nuisance. Get another bomber in. Let's run them across. Keep running, lads. Keep running. Get some of these across as well. These chaps are going to go in there. The French are now going to contest it. I don't think there's going to be that much that they can actually do about it. Excellent job, chaps. They're going to fight in the trenches just there. Let's try and stop them. And hopefully we can murder everybody. This means we can get more people in. That artillery is going to get destroyed at the same time. Their last remaining battery. Oh, troops are getting stuck. This usually means things are going to go south. They usually pop out of the trench when that happens. But that artillery is pretty much gone. Really, I would have liked that one gone. They're fighting each other in a trench, I think. I think we broke the game. Oh, look, see, look, they've done it. They've all fell out the trench. Which means I need to suppress all of this immediately. And it's probably... Oh, they've, they've done it. Have they done it? Oh, they're not too bad, actually. They're not too bad. Start taking this command trench. We have troops available to do it. And it also means we can get more troops in the trench itself. Push some of these up down that way. So I can keep going. Keep up a couple of troops in this sector. I better start blowing these people up. More artillery on the way. That's going to murder about half of them, which is a good number. Keep troops coming. They're gathering at B. Prime for artillery fire. The ass me. Let's get some of these troops split up everywhere. Get these troops in that piece of trench. See, they're not having a good day, this lot. They're all a bit knackered and bruised and bloodied. If they decide that they want to come up here now, they have to come through their own trench network. But here we go. They're going to be coming in. I need to break through this command trench or we're going to be in bother. Because currently we can't get any guns on them and we need that really as best as possible. I need to start thinking about getting more troops in. If I push this way, that will probably work best. Let's get some of these troops down here. Could do with a bit of suppression on that. Maybe a bit of explosives on this. Clear that trench. Here we go, they're coming in. I can sacrifice my own troops to murder the enemy, soften this lot, they're going to go straight for the command trench. Excellent, this is working rather lovely. They're now mostly all given up, that artillery is going to get destroyed, the last remaining artillery down there has been destroyed. We've got another troop here, I can send in there, excellent. Making it rather difficult for them, but they're going to be coming in in uh, waves of goodness not very nice for me I can tell you but we are getting through most of our troops are still rather healthy let's get these troops down there send this lot home and we can actually resupply relatively quickly by filling all of these which is excellent still gonna be coming for this general direction if I could just clear this we're gonna be good 
Better blow these guys up because they're going to be preventing me from going anywhere. Completely clear it. I need this lot cleared as well. Four heavy artilleries on the difficulty that we have it on. It does clear them out completely, which is excellent. Both of these are knackered and need to go home. We need to swap these out. Get some of these troops murdered. Excellent, excellent. See, look, they're still going to be coming in hard. They might even start taking it if we're not careful. If I could just occupy this, we're going to be able to shoot them as they're coming in. And it looks like they're running out of steam a little bit. I've still got a little ways to go. However, it does look like we can use a lot of heavy artillery for the job, which is excellent. Get rid of one of them, then these can pass through and get more troops in this way. Excellent, excellent. Swap one of them out. We'll actually have one just sat in there. Then we can get even more troops in because we're going to need it to push over this direction. Their artillery is gone, so I don't need to worry about that too much. And start filling all of these with doubles. That way we can push and push quite hard. Gonna need a few more down here, I think. Go and get some more in there. Excellent. We've got a few troops down here which I don't think are gonna be needed anymore, so we can start thinking about getting these involved. There's another one down here, so that's an extra two. We're gonna stay on the enemy's flank here. See, look, they want to get their command trench back. Because we've got loads of troops just sat there, they're not gonna get it. Time to clear a load of this. I might even just do doubles for the time being. It won't completely remove them from the game, but it does soften them to the degree that they are at half strength. Which is exactly what we want. We're currently just waiting a little bit. Our troops are getting in position. There we go. We've got more troops floating around. Get them up here. And everything will be then all nice and dandy. See, they're in a pickle now. They're not, they're not going to be able to take back their trenches if we can help it. Wait for the next artillery lot. Then all eight of these companies are going to be removed and destroyed and murdered and blown to pieces. Then we can move in. That sounds lovely. It does look like they're going to start trying to fill this back up again. But we have all the supply we need for the artillery. So we're going to stick with that. We might as well. Get some of these troops in there, just get more ready. The only troop we have now, which is down here, is the only one defending now. But we do have a good amount of machine guns that should stop anything that they think about sending our way. But if you have a look, they're going to start filling all of this up again. Let's remove them from the game, finally. Lots of them are going to die. Excellent. That's the results that we want. Death, murder, destruction. They're definitely trying to fill their trench up now, though. If I had a harassment plane, that would be lovely. I think they're trying to go for a new approach. But the same thing is going to happen because we filled these sets of lines, trenches, should I say, with troops as well that are all going to be firing at them. Ah, oh, they're really coming. I can't really leave the trench until they've stopped attacking. But I'm not in any rush, really. Uh, they might get a few in, but they're going to be losing men at such a rate that it's not really going to matter. If I can get in here, that'll be fantastic, which I probably will be able to very shortly. I might even be able to squeeze them in, but they're probably going to get shot. Because there's a lot of people out in the open here. And lots of bodies everywhere. It's excellent. French and British bodies everywhere. The Germans are having a right good go of it today, aren't they? Well, as they have been this entire campaign. We'll blow some more of them up. We'll clear this. Blow them up a little bit. Clear this entire section. Because I'm going to be wanting to get in this bit rather shortly. So they're all going to be removed. They're going to run out of troops at this rate. I've got plenty of supply to blow them up all day, really. It's not the nicest way to die, but needs must. I'm actually going to start a push now because I've had enough. Let's get some of this suppressed and we're going to start that push. 
and see how we get on. It's probably going to change the way that the enemy react. See, they're going to try and take it now, but this is also going to mean a lot of them are going to get stuck in the open and vulnerable to our guys in the trenches, which is exactly what we want. When the cannons are reloaded, I'm going to try the same thing over here. We've got the depth in our defense. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's suppress a bit of this. Suppress a bit of that. Still got troops in there. All of that is suppressed. Let's remove these from existence. Like so. We've nearly cleared that. As soon as that has happened, we can get in. These guys are probably going to fail. But at this point, it doesn't matter. We are pushing our way through. I'm going to clear a bit of this as well. Remove these from existence. That entire line is gone. It's one less bit that I need to think about suppressing. These are going to get murdered and have been. I need to suppress this bit. These might win. They might. They are my elite troops. We've got more troops going in there though, which is right lovely. Better get some more troops ready to go to replace our losses. And they're still coming in hard. We're going to get these troops actually moving. Suppress a bit of that. Suppress a bit of summit over here. They're done. Send them home. Here we go, suppress all of this and then the enemy can't shoot back. They're still really pushing hard into this sector. Our main artillery guns are now ready again. Better blow some more of them up. Keep the pressure on. I'm gonna blow up the remains of this sector as well. Just like that, excellent. We have troops in. Get you up there, you need to be ready to move. We've got these ready to move. Might even start a push into this sector of trench. There's not many of them left now. Get more suppression barrages on the go. I don't want to get caught out in the open. I can get these moved forward. These are done, but we have more troops in to replace them. It takes a little time for that to happen, so you better do it quickly. These men have also actually managed to get in that trench. Excellent. Now we can start shooting the guys that are in the open. There's not many of them left. Excellent. We could even start blowing some more of them up. There's a few doubles sat here. Might as well make the most of it. Excellent. Excellent. Spread these troops about. Send all of them forward. Send all of these forward. They're not going to be able to get us out now. There's no way. No way. They are done. I'm going to have to blow up some of my own troops again. For the greater good. They can't stop us now. They can't bring in any more troops. And I think we have this now in the bag. Suppress them, get these troops in. Oh, there you go. Told you. Look at that. Murdered. Accept that surrender. Yes. That was exciting. Don't forget, by the way, it helps me a lot. If you do press that little like button, that will be great if you enjoy these videos. Oh, we've murdered a few of them. Ooh. Just one or two. We only lost 4,000. Wow. Four, five, six, seven and a half thousand. Nice. Excellent. Lots of death. That didn't do them any favours, did it? Nice. Well, you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute. You've not told us how many people you've murdered. Well, somebody in the comments told me about this and I can't remember this ever being there. But we have the total, blah, 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 total casualties now, and we are nearly reaching the 300,000 mark. Mmm. Even tells you the aircraft lost and all that gubbins. Isn't that lovely? Something that was requested many times by uh, to the developers, and it has been given. I was just blind and never clicked that button. Yeah, we're doing all right. 
So that was there. Two more successful battles there, and we'll be one step closer to Paris. Now we can squeeze another battle in. Oh no, we can't. We're going to have to wait for the. Damn it! Oh, that's really annoying. We cannot attack Calais this turn. I'm going to have to see about attacking them next turn. Are my troops able to stop the attack? Probably not, but it is what it is. I wonder if the enemy are going to attack then. They do have more troops than me at the moment. And my lines are incredibly thin because so I've got three points of attack. But because I am attacking them so hard, they're going to be struggling for money and supplies. So let's just see. Oh, they are attacking. From Eeps into Gaint. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I only have one... <laughs> <laughs> one company of troops there but it doesn't matter if we lose because they can only take one star off they can only take attack it from one region so it gives me time to stick another couple of people there basically so let's see if I can hold back the enemy with extremely limited resources <laughs> we got right good at this before and somehow winged it to the degree that we did. If you ever watched those campaign throughs, that was extreme. Very challenging. And this is it. This is all that I can bring in. What I am going to do is use these forests as best as I can. Because they're going to be coming and they're going to be coming hard. If I can just get troops in this forest. It might be enough to hold them back a bit. Now they're probably going to use heavy artillery and a lot of it. So spreading my troops about is probably the best thing to do. Let's just see what happens. This hill is probably going to be vital. I reckon they might end up going for Z first and working their way around. They do go for Z first. We're going to be in a bit of a pickle. I've got plenty of troops now. I've got two in the command trench. These are safe. And I can bring one more in. I didn't realise that. There you go. They're going for that one first. Here we go. We're murdering them. They're on their way. That is a scouting attack. So don't get too giddy. I've got one more. Where did I tell them to go? In there. That'll do. And I can send these up in here. As I strongly suspect that that is where they are going to go. That's a scouting attack again. They all should be firing in a moment. There we go. Where am I going to go? And they are actually taking Z. Now, I will lose points when they take that, but I'm all right with that. As long as we can survive. Now, they have 100 units that they can bring in. I have 20 and I cannot replace them. They have five times the number, which is frightening. They have two balloons. They've got some upgraded trenches as well. So they're going to start doing that, apparently. There's just one or two floating around. Interesting. I do wonder if they have the MGs and things in place. Yeah, more upgraded trenches. The AI does do that now. Which is right lovely. I'm just waiting for the impending doom to be completely honest. I have a air superiority plane that I can use if needed. I don't think they have bombers yet though. And I also have a air recon mission so I can see where they're going to be coming from. Usually what they do is they come in stupid waves which means you get overwhelmed. We'll just have to see. Got a bit of a buffer zone with troops in the forest here. They also have their heavy artillery, which they can use, which isn't very nice either. So we're just going to have to wait and see if I can space these out a little bit while they're hiding from this forest. It might benefit me when they start sending in the big guns of death. We shall see. Oh, ayo, 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 ayo. Is this it? Is this going to be it? Are they all coming down from this angle? 
It might be the case. No artillery yet. We've got troops in this forest. I reckon we're going to lose this sector. I've got no artillery of my own. Oh, see, look, they're trying to blow me up now. Ah, oh, that's no good. I might have to bring a few of these back. Oh, they're all going to get murdered. It also suppresses our troops. Here, though, we're not doing as bad. I might even bring them back because they're just going to get murdered. Ooh, sugar lumps. Just have to see. Yeah, we're losing a few men down here. This isn't good. Cannot afford, really, to you lose these troops. We do have a bit of a numerical advantage just here. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They're all murdered. Maybe I shouldn't have told them to run away. Never mind. We managed to get one troop back. That's now going to be a suppression barrage. So they're going to be coming in. Machine guns are still going to be firing now. I placed them at the back. I think they're going to be vital in this battle. The guys at the back can also shoot at them. We still have hold of this forest. We're murdering a few of them. Their barrage is about to end. Can we get a load of troops in? So they're losing. They're just not quick enough. They're not moving quick enough. We've got more troops coming into this forest. We're still tickling them from over here. And they got a few in. They got a few in. We can live with that. More artillery coming in from this direction. Might be wise if I move my troops down here. They're all mostly suppressed anyway. Their own troops are suppressed because of this, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be a good engagement. I have the advantage in the trenches. It just hurts because they've got no artillery. They're going to be keeping coming down here. And we did that piece again. Lovely. I'm going to move these troops back and save them. What I might even do is bring one of these back. Because then I might still be able to stop them from being silly over there. It also gives me some eyes. I've got a few people left in this trench. They're coming at me full force again. Machine guns are firing. I don't think their artillery can properly reach is beneficial for me they're all getting slapped in the face we've even still got there see look they're going to be doing it again look they're giving up that's where their artillery is mainly focused which is not great so far we've murdered a few of them a massive pile of bodies is forming don't forget this is another reason why I set difficulty in the bit oh, the timer on the custom difficulty to 30 minutes. Because in the last playthrough I did, despite it being on ridiculous difficulty, 20 minutes was not enough for the enemy to finish me off just that little bit. I got pretty good at clinging on. Now with this, with the half an hour, you just have to endure or you're going to fall. Yes, this is going to cost them dearly. But at the same time, they might start capturing the orbit of region. Thankfully, so far, we're holding on. We've got a few people. Many machine guns. See, look, they've, they've got no cover. Because we are so far back, I don't think they can reach in. They're coming trying a different angle now. They're not going to have much luck this way either. It's still got a machine gun or two squirting at them and many people in the trenches. So they're all getting murdered. They are going to capture Y though. This will count as a loss for me, by the way. But it will be so costly for them. Not going to do them any favours. Now, they've probably still got troops in this forest. I cannot afford to send troops up and waste them. We're just going to have to wait this one out. Is this another wave? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, they're coming up for here again. Oh, yeah. They're figuring it out that I'm in the forest. They're going to get murdered. This isn't very nice. They're just going to have to take it. 
No, oh, they're gone, them. And now they're being shot at. And they can't fire back because of the artillery fire. But they're all getting murdered anyway. Blown to pieces. It's not very nice. They've got four companies here, I think. Yeah, slaughtered. And I do think they are switching tactics to capture these zones, which they clearly have got. So that is going to be Zed. They flushed us out of there, they flushed us out of this forest, and they flushed us out of this forest at great cost, mind. But they've still flushed us out, and they're going to struggle with Y. I don't dare move forward to X, because they will probably station people in those forests. They've done it before. One thing I can do is have a recon plane. I've got 45 supply that I can't do anything with. I can't bring in any more troops. And with that, I just see where they are. It might. I don't know if it'll reveal people in the forest. Let's just have a look, see. It might do, it might not. Here he goes. Will it reveal them if they are there? Uh, how am I going to know? I don't know. It might be clear. Uh, they're coming in from this direction again. A few of them at least. Oh, it might do. I think it does. Oh, yeah. Here we go. They're all going to be coming in down this little valley again. Valley of death. Oh, there's a few of them coming now. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Thankfully, they don't have tanks. The AI does use tanks in a very good way on this game. They will get there eventually. And when they do, it's not very pleasant for me. Another reason why I want the anti-tank stuff. Because when they do, I should have a defense. This plane's just doing a great job whizzing around. This is going to cost them so much. Their artillery doesn't reach... This is why we're having quite a good time of it, really. Another reason why I tucked right into the corner. The artillery doesn't reach the cut, use it, and you know how difficult it is to attack without the artillery. There isn't a flank that they can really just come in on. I can still shoot them at full force in any direction. So the only way to do this if I was to attack this, is with the artillery being so far forward. But you're going to really struggle. But with gas, flush out. But again, that requires the artillery. So no, this is a tough one. I've made it quite difficult for the enemy to get anywhere near. Can't use the artillery. They're screwed and they've just lost so many people. This is going to be a high figure on this one. Place your bets everybody place your bets how many people are going to get murdered in this one how many losses are the enemy going to take attempting to take this back let me know in the comments more of them are coming in i've got it on super speed now oh their artillery does reach a bit and they're suppressing the mg at the same time but they've not coordinated it very well to the point where the troops can properly get in. The artillery is now finished. They only have one light artillery usually. And it wasn't enough. Here we go, it's firing again. Are these going to get in? They need more of a concentrated force. At the moment, they're just being tickled in. So many bodies that they're disappearing. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, they're, they're not going to do it. Oh, the people that are being murdered here. That is not very nice. They're all perishing. Oh, they might get in a bit, but they're not going to take anything. No, they're fumbling it. They're fumbling it. The hills are stopping them. Nice. Oh, more artillery going down. We've just got too much cover. All of these people can shoot. Machine gun can still shoot. Oh, the numbers are going to be extreme. They get in a little bit. But because they're not coming in in one charge, it kind of goofs them up. And then they get confused by the hill, I think. Ah, oh, it's just a shame. I don't want to know how many... They're still coming! They are still coming. This is ridiculous. I've got to sit here and just watch them 
die for another 17 minutes. That's going to be interesting. I don't even know how many troops there's going to be in. There's 225 in one company. And in each... I mean, what, I mean, what is it? In each core, it's 20. So work that out. They've got five cores. Five times 20 times 225 that's how many men they have at their disposal and how many of them are going to die I don't know it's going to be a high number this is ridiculous while they're murdering I do want to find out if they have emplacement so there's some improvements for definite so they've got the upgraded trench work which they have started to implement oh they're requesting a ceasefire yes I suppose we'll never find out they've given up nice now that will still count as a loss probably to us simply because we didn't hold all of our areas but that is going to be a staggering amount of murders oh stalemate oh, okay so because we murdered so many of them it counts as a stalemate we murdered 16,000 and we lost a thousand. Nice. That wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> oh, the, they do get better. When they get better, it's a nightmare. They've just got limited technology to work with. And I worked it well there while they couldn't use their artillery. Hmm. I wonder if I'd have lost less. If I had have kept my troops in all the trenches. Maybe. Maybe. So nobody was happy after that, apparently. That's actually the first time I've lost national morale. But they lost a bit more because it was brutal. Are they going to come at me again? Oh, they are. They are. They're coming at me again. Well, what I'm going to have to do is save this for the next episode. How many people are we going to murder? Who knows? I hope to see you there. Take it easy. Have a good one. I shall see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video all the way through, hopefully, if you have. If you can like the video too, that helps as well. A special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early. Isn't that right, lovely? Now, the next video, if it's available, will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right. Have a good one.